In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your taskbar from looking like this to looking just like the dock on macOS. The first thing we're going to need to do is change this wallpaper. I've downloaded a whole bunch of macOS wallpapers here, so I'm going to use one of these. Right click, set as desktop background. Bam. Next, open up a browser and go to winstep.net. There's a few products here. What we want is Winstep Nexus. Click here. We're going to download the free version. Here it is. Let's open it up and install it. And then we're going to go ahead and launch it. By default, the dock is on top. What we want to do now is customize this dock to make it look like macOS and replace the taskbar with this dock. There's a whole bunch of utilities here that we don't need. So I'm going to get rid of everything that I don't need and import the ones that I do need on here. To do that, just hover on it and drag it into the trash can. You can also right click on it and remove from dock. The only thing that's left now is the trash can, the clock, the start menu, and the nexus menu. We need to get rid of this nexus menu. It just looks really bad. Right click anywhere on the dock and then go to preferences. Go to the contents tab and we're going to uncheck show dock control icon. Hit apply and there we go. It's gone. Now let's go back to preferences. I'm going to check a few things here. We're going to want show running applications. It's going to automatically check combined dock icons. I'm going to also check minimize windows to dock. And under system tray, click show system tray on this dock. Let's click apply. So on the right of the separator here, you're going to see the running applications. Now let's go to the sounds tab. I'm going to disable all the sounds. I'm going to hit apply. Next, we're going to replace this taskbar with this dock. Go to general. Let's hide the windows taskbar. And then we're going to also hide the desktop icons too. Now go over to position and let's move it to the bottom. And down at the bottom here is asking us if we want to keep the dock to be always above other windows. I'm going to choose always above other windows. Click apply. It's looking really good, right? To pin a currently active app onto the dock, just right click on it and click pin to dock. See how it just moved from here to here. And you can tell that Chrome is currently active just like on Mac OS because there's a little dot below the icon. Now what about pinning something that's not currently active? Before we can do that, we need to add File Explorer onto the dock. Right click, go to Insert New Dock Item, go to Internal Command, Desktop, and then click on My Computer. There we go. So when we click on it, there is our File Explorer. If you want multiple instances of the File Explorer, for example, if you want to move a file from one window to the next, Let's go to Documents. Now I can click on my computer again to open up a new window. The default destination is always going to be this PC. So whenever you navigate away from this PC and click on this, you can open another instance of the window. Now I can show you how to pin an app that's not actively running. Let's go to my C folders, Program Files. I want to pin Steam on here. Let's select Steam and drag it onto the dock. Look at that. Now we have a problem here. You see how the dock is overlapping the window in the back. Let's open up the preferences again, go to position, and then we're going to check prevent maximize windows from overlapping the dock. Check that and apply. The window now is not overlapping the dock anymore. Looks a lot better. I'm going to auto hide for maximize applications when always on top. And the reason why you want to do this is whenever you play like a full screen video on YouTube or whatever, the dock will hide itself. So it's not going to be on top of the video. We have system tray here. We got this guy. I'm not sure what this guy's called, but we're missing the action center. So let's right click, go to insert new dock item, internal command, go to system action center. There we go. Click on that. And there it is. Unfortunately, we cannot drag this guy all the way to the right. It's going to appear together with the pin icons. So usually what I like to do is just leave it all the way to the right. Here we go. Calendar here, notifications. 
And with this, we can do everything that we can do with the taskbar on this dock. One last thing we're going to do here in preferences is go to general under Nexus. Make sure you run Nexus as Windows Startup. And as you can see, there's a lot of options here. I'm not going to go through all of it. I'm going to let you kind of discover for yourself. These are just the basic settings that I like. All right, I'm going to get out of here. This looks pretty good so far, right? But it's not totally Mac-like yet. What's missing here are Mac icons. So let's open up our browser again. We're going to go to this page right here. I'm going to link this in the description. Now let's scroll down and it says you can download it here. Let's click on it. All right, let's go to the Google Drive. And what we want is the PNG folder. So I'm going to click on this guy and download. This is a pretty big file, so it's going to take a while for it to finish. Alrighty, once it's done, let's open it up. We're going to unzip this guy, open it up, and here are all the icons. Let's go back, Mac OS icons. We're going to copy this folder, go to documents, open up the shortcut to one step, go to icons, and I'm going to paste it in here. Go to the search box, let's put in finders, capital F. Here's the finder icon. And all you gotta do here is drag this onto the My Computer icon. Bam! And I'm gonna move this guy next to the window start menu. And let's replace this trash can. So let's search for trash. Right click on the recycler. Go to dock entry properties. Change icon. On the drop down menu here, we can change the icon for when it's empty and when it's full. All right, so under empty, I'm gonna just drag this empty trash can icon onto here. Let's go to full, drag it over to here, click OK, click OK. And look at the trash can. It's different now. All right, next, put in Windows. We're gonna drag this guy over to our start menu. How cool is that? If you look through this folder, there's going to be a whole bunch of icons here that you can replace the native Windows icons with. And you're going to notice that some of the icons are so pixelated and low res. So for example, the calculator. Look at this. This looks so bad. <laughs> All right, let's search for Cal. Oh, there we go. So I'm going to use this guy instead. Drag it onto here. Look how much nicer that is. And there you have it. It looks and behaves just like Mac OS. This is so awesome. And the next thing I'm gonna show you here, it's just a bonus. I'm gonna open up Steam and I'm gonna run Wallpaper Engine. I have a Mac OS wallpaper here that I absolutely love. So I'm gonna activate it. Would you just look at this? Absolutely beautiful. You know what I love about this Mac dock? is that it's just so clean. There's no clutter or anything. It's just very simple. And I just love this magnification animation here. It's just awesome. Alrighty, hopefully you found that to be helpful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe for more, and take care now.